The Bajorans are a deeply spiritual people, and I've already done videos on the wider aspects of their views and faith before, but this one is a little more specific. What is the Bajoran earring? What does it represent, and why is it worn as part of the Prophet's religion? Hi, Rick here with a smaller lore entree. The earrings worn by almost every Bajoran we see on screen, to the point where even Starfleet eventually allows it to be worn as part of the uniform, with the increase in Bajoran Starfleet officers and the application of these species into the United Federation of Planets. Prior to this change, Bajoran officers would often attempt to wear the earrings until pulled up in front of a superior for violating dress code, so it's clearly important to them as a symbol of their faith. The earring itself can be made from a variety of materials, with no strict rules on what has to be used. They don't have to be crafted from gold or precious metals. In fact, Kieran Arises was craft from the wreckage of a Cardassian transport that was destroyed in her first successful campaign. The earrings tended to be very personal possessions, with each customised to the individual's preference, and given meaning by sentiment. The earring was routinely worn on the right hand ear, but some did wear it on the left ear such as Ro Lauren. Although there seems to be no correct ear to adorn, the majority of Vajorans choosing the right ear seems to paint Ensign Row at odds to some degree with religious authority. Or perhaps there's actual significance to the positioning. Or the Trek team hadn't finalised the law yet. The earring had two clasps, one attached to the ear lobe and the other to the upper edge which I believe is called the helix. These are connected by one or two light chains, and the family crest is often applied to the earring at some point, usually on the larger lobe clasp. Originally, however, the earring was not a signifier of faith, but a marker of the wearer's caste. Bajor used to operate a strict caste system that dictated a person's place in society based on their birth, and the earring was an indicator of their lot in life. Since then, this system was abandoned, and the earrings became a symbol of the faith itself. As to the reason it was an earring and not any other pendant, like a necklace or ring, seems to be tied to the pa. The Pa, being essentially a spirit or soul, was believed to reside in every living being, and could be measured by a Vedic or a priest, grasping the ear and feeling its flow. This seems to suggest that the Pa was present in the ear, perhaps akin to a blood's pulse, so the earring resided over this important point. Only one ear would have been covered by the earring, allowing the other to be measured by touch. This link is solidified by the Bajoran name for the earring, being the Daja Pa. I couldn't find a reference to the earring being based upon a specific icon, such as the Christian cross being the crucifix, or a Shinto shrine representing a transitional gateway. However, the location of the lobe clasp paired with the arc of the chain sort of resembles the Bajoran emblem itself, which in turn was based upon the celestial temple or the wormhole. The short-lived cult of the Pa-Wraiths also wore earrings, but in contrast to those of the Prophet's faith, they were uniform in their red design and worn on the left ear. A new earring was also gifted during a wedding ceremony to replace the older one from groom to bride. As the family crest is applied to the earring, its replacement could symbolise the inclusion into a new family with a new crest. An individual seems to also be allowed to wear the earring alongside any other adornment they wish on the ear, so it's not as if the only earring allowed was the one of the Bajoran faith. So in summary, the earring appears to be tied to numerous parts of Bajoran history, an indicator of caste and class, an adornment on a spiritual pulse of the body, and maybe in some way inspired by the iconography of Bajor itself. Thanks for listening to this small factoid on one of the icons of Bajoran faith, and if you want more on Bajor, there's a couple more videos on the channel that I'll link here to explore. Until next time, thanks again, and goodbye. Ah, I've just noticed I've spelt earring wrong, and it's throughout the whole video.